Well, it's time we can finally try our bedded pack outside here that <clears throat> I spent different parts of the summer building, slowly putting it together. I'm still not completely done. I still have to go from that post to that post to post down there. Put some high tensile on that. And then across the front here from the post there some extra concrete the other day when pouring back around the chute so I just extended out this pad here they always kind of erode around the water in the winter time where the stone was in front of the smaller concrete pad so just extended that out of course this bale's going to need to move then concrete forms I pulled them off that's what we just poured last week the last section now I just until I get this enclosed over here I just threw up kind of a temporary gate here just to keep the cows in I don't have time to finish everything today but I want to get them over here they know I'm doing something over here they're starting to come around looking let me get over this shocked I use the charger thing let's put that there we go a little bit of, so they're uh they're older chips I put in here I wasn't gonna put new chips in um but I think these will work out okay these were ten dollars a yard instead of twenty five dollars a yard and there's 140 yards in here plus that pile there so it's anywhere from on the thinner parts maybe like up top here near the mineral feeder that's probably eight inches deep but then that's there's spots where it's two or three feet deep for the most part it's it's at least a foot deep right now so see how it goes with drainage with these older chips because there is some fine stuff as they start to break down but they do generate heat so it'll be interesting to see how the cows like laying on it. Because if I were to dig into that pile right there, you'd see the steam coming out of it. So it'll be interesting to see if it helps keep them warmer. It's definitely going to keep them out of the mud because there's... I had scraped all the topsoil off this area and put down fabric and then probably anywhere from... 8 to 12 inches of uh, real big rock and then you know, this smaller modified pack that all into the big rock so it's definitely going to keep them out of the mud this walkway here this is the same thing this is all fabric and then big rock and then a few inches of modified right now I just kind of have a, a little wire gate across here just to kind of guide them in here but i'll probably i'll probably leave them have this driveway section down to that double electric gate because then in the winter time when things are froze up i will still feed them in the back fields just on rolling bales of hay but like yesterday we had we had gotten an inch or so of rain you know it's I don't know, it's in the mid to upper 40s. Like I said, everything's just muddy. So when things aren't frozen, the plan is to let them bed up here, feed them up there in the concrete covered feed pads or else like the rail bale feeder there. Everything's concrete from this post right here around. So it can be scraped. over here that there that's a an earthen berm guides everything down keeps it out of the pond there's a pipe under this new driveway here comes out on the other side of the driveway and it continues that's all basically a big grass filter strip to the woods so it's it's several hundred 
your feet do those ones before you get into any you know, water or water or anything. So just create a giant filter strip. And that's what this ground out the back of the wood chip pad is going to be. Is. Anything that leaches out from under this has to run through this filter strip. And then the bale stack there. I'm gonna bring some more bales. I have a bunch of bales up in some fields up the road. I'm gonna close this in from that post, like up to there, kind of the way the other bales are, a couple bales high. Cause that's that's the west over there. North is over here. Most of your winter winds come out of either the west or the north. So just give them give them a wind break. Give them a place to to lay that's not gonna be muddy. Um, it's gonna be better than than being in slop. So these chips, these chips do pack in because there's a lot of fines in them. But like I said, it, it rained quite a bit yesterday and it, it did filter down through it. You know, it would probably be be drier with the new chips, but like I said, I'll give a $10 a yard chips a try before I decide that I need to do $25 a yard chips. So I had a, two semi loads. Truck just back down and through here. It's got like a, a walking floor in it and it just pushed it out. And I used a skid loader and actually it got, got a little tough with the skid loader because it's easy to hang it up. So I, I moved some around the skid loader and then some around with the, the tractor. You can see I was just in here with the skid loader and it uh it's a little slippery. There's a lot there's a lot of moisture in this right now. All that rain. So let's go see if we get the cows to come over and see what they think of it. This was the last pour that we did. I think we just did this. What was last week? What's today? Monday? I think it was last Tuesday or Wednesday. It was cold when we did it. That's for sure. I covered it with tarps just to try to help keep it from freezing. But it, it seems to have cured okay. This is the last pour we did before that, which went up to about where that calf standing. And in the summertime, I did another pour between that calf and where that building starts. So this is finally just everything's concrete back here. This used to turn into like a big wallow back in behind here in this walkway. The cows like to stand back here because the barn acted as a windbreak when because normally I finish feeders in this back pen here and they can go in the barn which I'll, I'll be getting more feeders in here soon and then the cows will have their bedding area the walkway and they'll feed from in front of that covered pad through the slant bars well, slants, they're not bars. You know, staying along this, this curb, it's like a raised curb out there. There's our old, there's our old wood burner. You need to take that to the scrap yard. Put bales up here on this curb and it's covered and then that one there i need to get her loaded later today that's a greatest finished beef taking that one tomorrow what do you guys think this one 
over and I'll probably just, I might just put it right on the trail. It's a 25 month old. Grass fed, grass finished. See how it cuts. What kind of marbling we got on it. That's our first real big test case where I feel really confident in how it's gonna turn out. But we'll see. Windy today. Another damp day. So I'm gonna go open this up. I think it's ready to let them walk down there and probably be in there jumping around in the chips. They usually get pretty excited about new things. Hey right, guys, I'm out of here. Open this up. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Last look at clean concrete. Come on, let's go, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You want to come out here? Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. I'll need to get them started. They're all familiar with walking around the back of this to go to something new. Walked over and started walking back. Sometimes that's all it takes. Come on, let's go. Go check it out. to kick around and rubbing stuff. Forty-eight by fifty-six, so it's a decent size area. 
think there'd be enough room for you know everybody get in there and find a spot to lay down if they all go in at once. They seem to approve. They're excited. Then they're gonna come running back out. Checking out their new digs. You approve? You out of breath? What do you think, Jill? You've had enough? Uh, yeah, you're gonna go back and eat some more, aren't you? Now you can't go up there. Hi, Jill. What are you doing, girl, huh? Ain't you a nice place to lay down? Why don't you go in and check it out some more? Go ahead. Go check it out. I know. Jill's an easy fleshing cow. She's got a lot of tail head fat, don't you, girl? These guys are headed back already. I'm gonna actually close the gate up there so that I can let Most of the excitement's over now. Okay, there's a little bit of a cough there. It's cold and warm and damp and it's tough on her respiratory. You start to see some snotty noses when you get weather changes like this, especially all the damp and rain and even that big cow over there is coughing some. That 
cow there is getting some white eyelashes. She's getting old. 1402. So she was born like the spring of 14. So she's she's six, nine, she's almost ten. See so her eyelashes are getting white. What do you do with the white eyelashes? There's still, there's the 14 head back there, the bulls back there, and there's six bull calves and their dams plus a bread cow I threw in with them. So even with them up here, there's, there'll still be pl plenty of room for everybody to to bed down. Is that that, is that, that same one that's coughing? Let me see your nose. He's got it. Keep an eye on that one. They might be just coughing too from having exerted themselves because I really don't see much in the way of any snotty noses. What do you think, Frosty? You like your new digs? A handful of them have uh, our own farm name for them. They, they, all but two are registered. So they all have a registered name, but then they also have, like that one there walking away, that's Frosty. There's Jill and Larry and Curly, which are cows. We got them three the one time. We referred to them as the Three Stooges. Mo's already gone down the road, so we still have Larry and Curly. Actually, the one I was just showing you with the white eyelashes, that's actually Larry. All right. I am going to... Oh, that one came in up there, so I'm going to go shut the gate so that it's trapped. All right. I'll let you know how this, how I think this works out. It's gonna be an improvement over the way things were. Like I said, when things are muddy and sloppy, they'll be fed up here at the barn and bedded. And if things, you know, frozen in the winter time, they'll be moved back there. And then I'll just, I'll take uh, round bales back and unroll them. All right, thanks for watching.